So we're starting a project here based on a video I saw from someone called Ten Hundred on YouTube. He's a pretty big artist and uh, has a big following on YouTube as well as his website. So what he did in his video, and I'll link it up in the description uh, and I'll, or in the email when I send it to you guys. And what he did was start a painting, much like I have here. Okay, again, I'm just very inspired by his painting. And his goal is to send it to five other YouTubers. I, I don't remember if actually it's five. It might be four. I can't remember the exact number. But he's, his goal is to send it to other YouTube artists who will paint it, film it, photography, all, all those things. Uh, photograph it is what I meant to say. Um, let's start over. Okay, so we're starting a project here based on a video I saw from someone called Ten Hundred, who is a YouTube artist, and um, he what he did was he it was much like this. We got a wooden board, prepared it, painted it, and uh, so on and so forth. And the goal now is to send it to other YouTube artists. So that's what my goal will be as well, is to send it to other teachers in the school, and have you all paint a picture on it. Okay. So if you are next. It's going to be scary. I get that. A lot of people are worried to mess this up. I'm, I'm sure I would be worried to mess it up as well. It's, it's really okay. You're not going to mess it up. The goal is to see a bunch of different kinds of art styles. Okay. Our goal is to see our teachers being involved in an art project and seeing different styles of art. If you still draw like a kindergartner, you know, that's totally okay. That's really cool. I mean, so did Pablo Picasso sometimes, right? Um, another thing is that um, a lot of people say that they can't draw a straight line. I also can't draw a straight line. I will use a ruler or a piece of wood or something like that. I also can't draw a straight line typically, right? So uh, I just wanted to kind of get rid of all the fears. Uh, don't be scared of this project. If it comes to you, uh, please welcome it. And if you want, if you want to overlap this, please do. Um, if you want to build something off of the canvas, like uh, get some cardboard or even some other wood and build onto the canvas, that could be cool. Uh, so let's try to think outside of the box. I know I took up like the middle section. That's the most boring thing you can do, is just put something right in the middle, right? So do something crazy with it. I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys come up with, and I think it'd be a cool school project. So if you have any questions, always feel free to email me. If you don't have any uh, supplies and whatnot, uh, always feel free to come down and get those from me. I can help you out. I can um, suggest things here and there. And, I mean, this is not the most amazing piece of art ever. Like, I used this, the paint I had in class, and it took a lot of layers and a lot of time. But um, yeah, I, I think it's a fun project, and, again, I, I, I just want to be able to have other teachers involved in the art process, and I want to see, uh, I want the students to be able to see that, and I think that'd be great. So, again, if it comes to you, Please video yourself in some capacity uh, creating the piece of art. Uh, do some photography here and there. Um, uh, and then I'll repost this video with those things involved in it. So uh, later on in, on YouTube, we'll have my portion mixed with everybody else's portion as well. I also, on the back here, I'm going to flip that around, I have the names. So I'm hoping there will be four more people. My name is Ben Adams. And then the rest of the people, uh, whoever you might be, um, put your names there as well. I wrote it in Sharpie so it would be easier. So, right, so if I, whoever I bring it to, they will paint and then decide someone that they're going to take it to. And then that person will paint on it or draw on it, whatever, whatever they feel like they can do. If they want to use glue and yarn, that, you know, that's cool too. Whatever, you know, glue something to it, that's fine. Um, and then write their name on the back and then they decide who the next person is and so on and so forth until we have this whole thing covered up. And if, if so I only have five slots on here, count uh, four not counting me. If we need more, if you guys want to send it to more people, you think it would add on something pretty cool, please do that. That'd be great. I, I would love to see this go on further. So let me know if there's any questions. Feel free to email me. And again, uh, I am posting this on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully this inspires someone else to a, watch the 1000 video. He gave it to Slu after that, so watch those two videos. I don't know who's after that. And then, um, um, what else was I going to say? Remind me. So watch those videos, and I hope it inspires you to also do 
this project. I think that would be great to see more of a similar project where you're, I mean, you're working on a piece of art alone, but then you get to work on it with someone else and kind of see what their vision transforms, transforms your work into. Okay, I think, I think that's a cool goal for this project. Okay, so now that you understand the project, I'm just gonna go through really quickly what uh, all this project entailed, kind of the setup for the project. So if you do wanna do it on your own, you can do that. Also, if this inspires you to do a similar project, it doesn't have to be a painting, it doesn't have to be on a wooden board. I know mine and 10 hundreds is that, but maybe you do a sculpture, but you have a sculpture period where you have this amount of time and this many people are allowed to add something to the sculpture, as an example. I think that'd be cool to try to see this in different mediums, not just painting and not just two-dimensional, but adding on to it in, in a sculptural way. Of course, with this project that we're doing, you can add on to the wooden canvas here. Uh, you can, again, like I've said multiple times, uh, you can build onto it. You can paint with yarn, wh whatever, that that, that, bleh, whatever that is. Uh, you can do that. So. Uh, I hope this inspires other people, uh, maybe even in the school or on YouTube, to do similar projects, get your work out into the community, and let other people work on it with you. So I just wanted to add that on. And that, so again, we'll go through kind of my process of setting this up for us, and then um, hand it off to you guys. All right, so we have the panel. Boom. This is like five bucks at Walmart. We also got 220 grit sandpaper. Okay, so all I'm doing is smoothing this out. That's the first step. So this is the Blick Gesso. So what I'm gonna do is put this into this bowl, put a little bit of water on it, and mix that up, and then apply a few thin layers of the white gesso to this board. All right, so make sure you mix it up. Mix the gesso up, because it kind of separates. All right, gesso in the bowl. Okay, now I'm gonna add the water. And uh, I, I really don't need that much, as you can see. There's not that much, I know I don't need a ton. So we're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna apply thin layers. And I'll tell you why in just a moment. Okay, so water is mixed with my gesso. It's a thinner mixture. The good thing about that is we're gonna be able to apply thinner layers onto my board here. And the good thing about, another good thing about gesso is you can sand it. So I'm gonna apply four or five thin layers with my gesso mixed with water, okay? It's gonna dry faster this way as well. So I'm gonna have thin, even layers, dry faster, and then, I, then I'll be able to sand it again with that 220. You also wanna protect your work area. So I know I won't need any more area than this anyway. So I'm just gonna paint on top of this. You can see we've been painting on this this semester anyway. So I'm okay to mess this up and I don't wanna mess up my tables or anything around me. So if you're doing this at home, then uh, protect your area. All right, so as you can see, this brush here is putting lines. That's okay. Um, some, you know, you might, you wanna use a newer brush. This is an old brush, but that's okay because again, as I stated previously, you will be able to apply more layers and then also be able to sand all this. So again, that's a great thing about working with gesso in this way. All right, so I applied four or five layers of the gesso, let that dry overnight, and then I sanded that this morning. Okay, it is smooth. Now, moved, moved on while I was waiting, I did my sketch, okay? Now, I gotta get to work putting that sketch onto the board. All right, and boom, believe it or not, boom, got that sketch onto the board now. So all I did was I sketched it out on a piece of paper, put some uh, charcoal on the back, okay, and taped it down. I taped both the top and the bottom. I just tried to gesture with the phone. And so like I said, I taped it down and then transferred it with a pin. Okay, that's a really good way to transfer if you don't have transfer paper. If you're really into it, you can buy transfer paper or you can just come down to my classroom and get some charcoal. I got a whole bucket. All right, so after many months and years and one sunburn later, I finally got it painted. So as you can see there, I kind of did some crazy colors. We have our school colors as well as some kind of abstract colors there on the fur and the background. Okay, so this is where I am.
All right, everybody. Now that you've seen how the process goes, I hope this has, this has inspired you in some way to do a similar project or maybe whatever you work in, if you have a specific thing that you do, maybe getting other people involved and seeing what happens later down the pipeline. Um, I, I, I love this idea of mixing our ideas with each other and seeing what, what comes of it, okay? So uh, keep up the good work out there. And if this project comes to you, please do your best, okay? That, that's really all I ask of you. That's really all I ask of my students, okay? If this project comes to you, do your best. That, that's what matters more. I think it's really important that we get more teachers involved in what we're doing, and I guess that's, uh, that's really the most important part, is, is showing our students that our teachers are involved in something. Uh, sorry, that was loud. So I think that's important, is showing that our students, showing our students that our teachers are involved in something. I think that's the more important part, is showing them we're, we're all involved in something together, we can all work together, maybe it's scary, maybe I don't have experience, but I'm gonna do it anyway and I'm always gonna try my best. I think more than anything, that's the lesson I, I would like to show. Then, um, then maybe every teacher is the best painter in the world. You know, like that's not. Uh, I hope you understand. That's not the goal. The goal is that you tried your best. Okay. So whoever gets it next, do your best, and then hand it off to somebody else. And I hope that person does their best. Okay. So I can't wait to see this come all the way back around. And again, if there's more than five names on there, that's totally cool. If there's more than just that square that I gave you, that's totally cool. Okay. I uh, can't wait to see what happens. Bye.